Hey guys, this is Peter, and I wanted to show you once again one of my favorite programs of all time. It's called Audiles One, and uh, well, the reason I want to show it to you again is because, well, it's gotten so good now that uh, this isn't one program. It's multiple programs in one. So let me just show you what it can do, <laughs> kind of all the different things it, it can do. It is Audiles Music, which means it is a music recorder. It's not a downloader, it's a recorder. And it's a movie recorder. So you can record movies just like on a VCR or a DVR. You can record things for your own personal use. You gotta of course know your local laws and you need to uh, look at the end user license agreements that you've signed with a lot of other parties. But you can actually copy anything. Uh, vision means you can copy anything that hits your screen. It is a screen recorder after all. And it also started out with Audiles Radio, which is one of my favorite things. Let me just show you this because, uh, you know, I've talked about this in the past. I'm going to hit F11. Um, boom, right here. I've shown it before. It keeps getting better. Every year they add more things to it. And it becomes a little bit different, uh, diff more difficult to understand what it's actually doing. But let me start from the beginning. Here it is. This is what it looks like when you run the application. And it does so many great things. Now, I discovered it a long time ago. My wife's from a different country, and it allows you to get internet radio. And we're talking about radio from all over the world. And, uh, well, you can put in just about anything. Well, look, here we go. My wife's from France. There's 39 stations from France. This company is actually from Germany, so there's 150 in Germany. And let's see, we can go all around the world. United Kingdom, uh, there was over 100 before. So it, it, I guess it's time of day related. It's 155 in the U.S. right now, but uh, here it's with the without the John Lee Hooker uh, filter on there. So almost 63,000 stations, 10,000 in the United States. I'm looking at 700 in Argentina, 600 in Australia, uh, over 2,000 in Brazil. We have Canada of making a good showing here. What do I see? Colombia. Well, there's Colombia. And uh, France, over 3,000. Germany, 14,000. What else do we see? Italy's got 1,700. I saw some from Lebanon. I mean, really, all over the world. So uh, the Netherlands, I'm looking at anything but 1,000. Even Russia's got some going. Of course, Russia's a big country. Uh, Spain, but... I mean, literally, you're covering the whole world. The United States, United Kingdom, uh, even the United Arab in Immigrants is really up there. Vietnam's got a couple. Zim Zimbabwe's got some channels. Tunisia, just kind of fun. All right, anyway, so you've always been able to record off the radio just with a tape, tape recorder. Well, this is a modern-day tape recorder, and yeah, you can record from... Well, you got a radio that's receiving 63,000 radio stations. So literally, when you type in whatever you're looking for, maybe it's Madonna, maybe it's Green Day, doesn't matter. It'll listen to all of these stations and grab songs and properly title them for you, properly put the metadata in there. Here, I saw one that didn't have the metadata yet. Let's find one that doesn't have the proper metadata. Here we go. Black Parade, that's a great one. I'm just going to go here. Obviously, it missed it. It got some of the lyrics, but I'm going to say identify and search tags. And let's just go ahead and search tags. It's going to, of course, going to find the cover art, I think. And when it does, I say apply and then save. Boom. So, yeah, it's that easy. And you're going to grow your library really quickly. But it doesn't stop there. Keep watching. You're going to fi find out about video two. Put this thing on and give it an assignment, and it'll go get you what you like. Now, I had to type in John Lee Hooker, and uh, it went and gave me a bunch of stations that uh, regularly play John Lee Hooker. And then I went ahead and gave it an assignment and said, do a mass recording and detect songs at the beginning and give me 20 songs. You can say, give me a 1,000 songs, but I put 20. And then I just said, let, you know, limit it to the, the top stations. And it went through and ran my little assignment and came up with a, a great list and actually made these recordings for me in MP3 mode. So let's see. I'm actually in the middle of something, so it's not letting me do it. There we go. 
I guess I start stopped right around here. Jeff Buckley was the last thing I recorded. And when I put it on its 20th song assignment, it came up with some great stuff. Muddy Waters, of course. Um, Boogie Pimps, Chicago Blues. Uh, let's see. George Thorogood, of course. John Lee Hooker again. B.B. King. Muddy Waters again. Hoochie Coochie Man is a great song. But uh, as you can see, all I had to do was put it on. And these came from all over the world. Some from Germany, some from the U.S., some from Canada. And in a matter of minutes. So... You got, of course, the, each song is, you know, a couple minutes long, four minutes long in one of those. It had to wait for it to start and it had to wait for it to stop. But look, it tagged it. It put all the meta art. It put the, it got the lyrics in here. I've got everything. Here, Muddy Waters, Hooch Cooch Man. Let's go ahead and see what I got. All right. See, it gave me the lyrics. It goes and finds what it can. And a lot of stuff is available. Here, I could go ahead and identify and search again, search for tags. This song is such a staple of Muddy Waters that it's been so many albums, so many years, that it probably just can't identify it. But it gave me a, a, a album cover, and I appreciate it. And, of course, the lyrics. There you go. But you can also use it for streaming music now. And so streaming music, and you're like, oh, wait, I'm looking for my favorite place to get music from. Don't worry. It can record from anything. But uh, yeah, if you click on Spotify, it'll open up Spotify. Amazon Music will open up Amazon Music. YouTube will open up YouTube or YouTube Music. It'll work just like that. Video streaming, same thing. It's a screen recorder. It'll record. Does that mean I can record a, a Zoom call? Absolutely. You can record a Zoom call even if you're a participant and you normally have to be the moderator or the instigator in order to make a recording. This is a screen recorder and it does a beautiful job. New for 2024, though, they've added some new AI features. You can actually improve your media. And I will tell you that these are neat. They require either CPU or time. You know, it's not, it's, it's not magic. It has to go through and interpolate. So if it's upscaling, it does a good job. But just like we've learned with other programs that do AI upscaling, uh, it was you know, two frames a second, you know, or 10 frames a second if you had a great GPU or something, or a high-end CPU, uh, it does take time. So it's not a filter where it just turns it on, turns it off, but it does do that. It has a, a, a boost of speech, which I think is great, especially if you're recording music. But I absolutely love this program because it does so much for you. So radio, boom. I love getting radio from all over the world. Uh, and it goes out and grabs, this is the great way to discover music, grabs all sorts of great stuff. Um, I also like the, the music streaming. I can go to music streaming services. Let's see. You have to, of course, read your end user license agreement, which I'm about to do. But um, And you have to check your local laws, etc. But if you do a one-to-one -one recording, which is the absolute best way to do it, um, and it is a recording, by the way, you have to go down and choose what format you want it in. I'll show you all of that. Here, we can just type in somebody. Um, Peter Tosh. I think I did that in my last video. Peter Tosh. Okay. Well, there's Peter Gabriel. Peter Tosh. And as you click through, it will show you all of his most popular songs. And you could just pick a playlist, Peter Tosh Essentials. And whatever you start playing, it will start recording. So just like if you're recording something off the radio, it'll do that. So it isn't downloading because downloading would be illegal. And you actually want to check with your end user license agreement to make sure you're not infringing on that uh, in your local areas because uh, you don't want to do that either. But if you do want to make a copy for your own personal use, then you absolutely can. Here, I'm going to jump over to, I'm going to stop this. And I'm going to go back to video streaming. Uh, I really like... So one of the things they added last year was the ability to identify commercials on some of these. Let's see. There's an Amazon freebie. And I think I showed this in my last video. This was great. But people go, I have the free version of Hulu and it didn't see it. Well, they just happened to do it for this particular one. That might come in the next generation. Let's see if it's here. There is not a Hulu... The, the inexpensive one. Uh, there isn't the Netflix free, is there? 
Now, there is a Netflix free, and it doesn't identify those either. But when you do make a recording, a video recording, it will be able to allow you to edit it afterwards, and you could pull out those out. But the way I look at it is, think of it as a VCR. It's going to make a perfect recording, and then it's going to, of course, record what was hit the screen. So if there were commercials, there's going to be commercials. If you want to edit them out, great. But as long as I get the recording, I can go ahead and do it on my own. And the recordings are in here as well. And I did a bunch of them. So, uh, yeah. Um, what did I have here? Just uh, some comedy that I, I grabbed. Some Hulu. Sound City. That was from uh, Amazon. That was fantastic. Um, and then a lot of music. I just love pulling music. But as you can see, it pulls music. It pulls songs. It pulls videos. It allows you to record stuff you can build your libraries very quickly and make something really enjoyable. Like, for example, I'm going to go on a long road trip and I wanted to bring some blues. I wanted to bring some, I don't know, if you like Muddy Waters or if you like uh, John Lee Hooker, right? It'll go ahead and list out a bunch of stations that play that same type of music or play John Lee Hooker a lot and then just load, load you up with new music to discover and some old favorites in there as well. Uh, but when you want to grab something off a of freebie, let's go ahead and do that. Of course, I have to read their end user license agreement and see what if, I'm sure downloading may not be illegal, or may not be legal, but recording may be because a lot of these uh, will allow you to record programs and put them on your DVR. So let's see. I, I know this one's great. I actually re watched a little bit of this. This is great. It's free with ads. So let's go ahead and click it. And it will go ahead and I'm going to turn off my monitor over here. But it will, of course, you can record from the beginning. Click here and click boom. And it will, of course, just record the whole thing. You may not be able to see my screen, but I can actually see the uh, commercial breaks already identified. So I'm going to hit stop. Let's see. Can I hit stop? All right, re finished recording, and well, and now you can see it. It's right, right here. Goes down in the corner. And look, pops up. It looks perfect. And of course, you can hear everything. It goes all the way to the end, and it looks great. Anyway, that is it. Um, if I, I actually removed the ads from it. You can record them with the uh, with, with, and remove the ads at the same time. Let's see. I have another example where I can show that to you. Because I already removed it. Let's see, where is it? Aha. Uh -huh. Must be coming soon. Yes, here it is. So here, if I actually go here, you can actually see the ads individually marked. So these are the advertisements. As I can click on them, you can see that they're indeed advertisements. And all you need to do is say, cut out all the ads. And it will go ahead and recreate it, making it, uh, well, <laughs> without the ads. As I mentioned, it is a recording. So down here, you can actually go to record as, and you can actually set up the conversion type. So here, uh, all sorts of different types from MKV, FLV, AVI, 3GP, WMV, MP4. So I picked MP MKV, and I picked uh, a medium quality with GPU acceleration, and that's what it's going to record as. So there's your recording, and that's why it's legal. We're not copying from these sites. We're recording what we paid to see on our screen. So some people get upset. They're like, wait a second. I thought you said it recorded Netflix, and I don't have Netflix. Will it record it? And it's like, no, it records what you're able to see. So just like if you had a VCR, if you, have, if you can get that channel, you can record it. It doesn't mean you can start recording football games that haven't happened yet. And that's what it does. It's a really cool program, but I guess people have got confused in the past. They'll see something like, hey, it'll record from Amazon Free V and identify the, the ads. Well, I wanted to do that for Hulu because I have the free version of Hulu or the free version of Netflix. It's like, no, it doesn't have that feature yet, but it'll record it. It'll record it with the ads. In fact, you can record anything that comes on your screen. You just say detect video recording or I actually like this to screen recording or just a live stream recording. Say you're in the middle of a live stream, you're on a Zoom meeting and you really, it's your job to take notes. And well, you're not the, you're not the originator. 
and you don't want to ask the originator, can you send it to me? Just click record. It'll record it. It'll record anything. Anyway, guys, this is one neat program, and I've been a huge fan of it for years. It is a recorder, and it records music streams, and you can record it from just about anything. It'll record video streams. It'll help you improve your media. And here, you can actually go like that. You can, I think you can just click on this. If I click here, can I click improve? Must be an improve here somewhere. Video. Improve. Here it is down here at the bottom. Yes, this is how you get to them. So yes, you can improve these videos. You can say, I want higher upscale. Then of course you can do it. Click improve the video resolution and you can upscale it. But uh, for most of us, it's going to be good. And let's see what a difference it makes. Oh, for the different ones, you have to install them. All right, so I went ahead and downloaded some of these different algorithms for upscaling. And I wanted to show you this, this little slider across the top. You can change it to 1080p from 720 to 14.4 uh, to uh, 2K. So there you go. You can upscale it, thereby take more pixels, cover more screen, and make it look uh, really, really sharp. So that is one feature that they've added, and that's a nice feature. But think of it as a screen recorder. It does a beautiful job. I've enjoyed it for years. And it seems the more features they add, sometimes people go, hey, I can't do what I thought I could do. So uh, one thing I do want to say is we're making a recording. We're not making a copy. Copying software is against the law, and they do not circumvent copy protection. Because, uh, and you can read about it all here. What they're doing is they're, they're saying that you're allowed to uh, you're allowed to make a digital recording of a of music, for example, uh, for your own personal use, and um, and there's the all the titles and everything. Again, for video, some of these video streaming services, you signed an end user license agreement that actually circumvents this, and you may have said that you won't make a recording, so you have to actually go and read those and know your local laws. But I enjoy the heck out of this program. I'll put a link to it. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. You can download it and try it right now for free. Of course, it will be time limited. But if you choose to buy it, uh, I absolutely love this program. Let's see. You can buy the permanent license and you own it forever. Buying it on a yearly basis is not a bad deal either. Um, they do have a nice new feature, which I'm glad to see because I bought it in 2020, I bought it in 2021, I bought it in 2022, 23. Finally, they gave me one in 24, but they came out with this. You can upgrade your old license. If you said, wow, you guys added some good new features, you would paste in your long license number here and they'll give you a discount on updating it. And I'm glad to see that because I had bought it from scratch multiple times. But this is one of the programs I don't mind because it pays for itself in a matter of minutes. I mean, literally, you saw how I set it up. What did I do? I set it up and told it that I wanted to get some music going. And I told it to go ahead and grab 20 songs based on the fact that I like John Lee Hooker. And it grabs so many great songs. I told it, grab 20. And within a few minutes, it had grabbed 20 songs. I could have put it at 2,000, and I'd wake up with 2,000 songs. This thing will pay for itself while you're sleeping the first day. Absolutely recommend it. It is a fun program. Take a look for it. Follow my link. Appreciate it. Somebody even asked, they go, hey, how come no one else has re reviewed this if it's such a great program? I honestly don't know. I absolutely love it, and I think you're going to like it too. Take a look for it, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Talk to you soon.